<laughs> okay. We're going to call this meeting of Monday, August 1st, 2022 to order. It's 7 p.m. in the council chambers. Uh, as you know, we always explain the disaster procedure, so basement for tornadoes and outside for fire. And since these meetings are being videotaped, it's important that everyone speak directly into the microphone when speaking. Roll call, Jenny, Alderman. Alderman Hazel. Here. Alderman Whitaker. Here. Alderwoman Duco. Here. Alderwoman Aris. Here. Alderman Randall. Alderman Ferguson. Alderman Anthony. Here. Alderman Ovian. Here. Alderman Dentleman. Here. Alderwoman Schaefer. Here. Alderwoman Steele. Here. Alderman Rothweiler. Here. Alderman Elmore. Here. Alderman Wygon. Here. Alderwoman Sullivan. Alderwoman Ostoff. Here. Randall, Ferguson, and Sullivan are excused. Okay. Uh, now, Let's call department heads. Jenny? City Treasurer Bierman, City Attorney Horner. Present. Police Chief Matt Icecant. Here. Interim Fire Chief Rick. Rick. Wanlin. Wanlin. I'll say that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Finance Director Jamie Matrit. Here. Director of Public Works Jason Poole. Here. Director of Wastewater Randy Smith. Here. Director of Library Leander Spearman. Here. Director of IT Scott Markovich. City Engineer Sal Elcott. Here. Director of Health Housing Building Scott Tyler. Here. Director of Economic Development, Planning, Zoning, Cliff Cross. Right. Director of Human Resources, William Clay. Here. Director of Communications and PR, Kathy Kaiser. Uh, Ty is here for Scott and Sarah, Scott Markovich, and Kathy Kaiser excused. Okay, thank you very much. Let's stand for the pledge. tonight so public participation raise your hand if you would like to participate okay Larry Betts first thank you mayor uh, is um, I'm here tonight to address uh, we were not contacted but apparently there's some changes to be made in the Airbnb code for the city and uh, I just want to explain our situation. We bought a house on the West End uh, to develop into an, a museum of mid-century modern architecture for the region of St. Louis. It's not just a Belleville thing. And we've been slowly working on it and getting things done. Uh, we have been limited, of course, by funds. We are 501c3, and all of our funding comes from donations fundraisers and basically from uh, our memberships. Uh, when we got the building, we decided to invest. There's a mother-in-law apartment attached to it. We decided to invest and get it completely up so we had new plumbing, new wiring, everything new in it, and to open it up as an Airbnb so we would have a source of revenue for our organization to cover the mortgage on the house. And that's our goal monthly is to, our mortgage is a little over $500 a month, and that's what we shoot for is to make a little over $500 a month on the average to pay our mortgage. One of our board members has volunteered to do all the work there. She does all the cleaning, she does all the laundry, she insists on greeting all of our guests in person, and it's been working great for us. I, under, I don't know much about the new code because we weren't contacted and we weren't asked, what do you think about this? Uh, but I understand the fee is going to go up considerably. That's going to cut into us. And I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm speaking here not knowing what I'm speaking to because I don't know what's all in the ordinance. But anyway, I'm asking for some consideration as not for profits. Maybe uh, the fee would not be raised quite as high us a little bit of a break, basically. Okay. Thank you. Larry, yes. just so you know, that was tabled last week. That goes back to ordinance and legal next Tuesday, the 9th at 5.30. It'll be in this room. So you may want to be here. On the agenda. I assumed it was going to be on the agenda tonight. Yeah, no, it was tabled. It goes back to ordinance and legal committee next week. So right, if you could make it. we can attend? Yes. Please do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Larry. 
Okay, anyone else? Yes, Mr. Brown. Rick Brown, 624 South Pennsylvania Avenue, Bellevue. Uh, I was here last meeting. Mm -hmm. I kind of expected maybe a call from you, Mayor, or something, you know, about the situation of the alderman mm -hmm. attacking me. Point of order, we discussed this at the last meeting from the public participation avenue. Yes. Asked and answered. Gary? Uh, section 30.22 regarding public participation in the city's revised code prohibits certain conduct. So I could, I could say that uh, Mr. Brown, it's on the back of the agenda that personal attacks impute the character and indoor integrity and using He attacked me. I had a witness. Using disparaging obscene or insulting. I'll tell you what. If the man does it to me again. Prohibited. I'm going to beat his ass. Disorder you understand? And then Disorder. call the police. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Matt, would you like to speak to this? Okay. Any more public hearing? So there's not yes. Yes, sir. Sir, this is a police matter handled by the police department. Your public participation uh, and your comment is completed. And we'll move on. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Ogney. I'm a resident of St. Clair County. I'm not, not actually a Belleville resident, but I live right across the street from the Department of Sanitation and their property. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mark Kern told me I should come down here and talk to you all because there's been a continued problem there. I know I've emailed you, Mayor, and uh, the With director the smell? of sanitation. No, not just the smell. Um, street sweepings have been dumped in an uh, open landfill across the street from my house mm -hmm. for probably a year now or more. Um, and uh, the, the recycling, I would like to also bring to attention everyone in you know this board that Republic Services takes the single stream recycling and they conduct an atrocious operations, very similar to what goes on in Belleville, but on a much larger scale. So I think that we are in need of, you know, broader recycling reform throughout our region. And um, I wanted to bring that to the attention. You know, there's a Fox 2 News article on YouTube that, that shows some of the conditions over at their facility. Mm -hmm. And I followed one of the trucks there. I saw that that's where it goes. Um, so I just wanted to bring that attention to the board and, uh, you know, hopefully that we can move forward and progress and make things better. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Ogney. And I agree with you. And uh, hopefully if we form a committee, can I count on you to be in there with yeah. us? Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Any more public participation? Hearing none. Uh, we recognize the character word of the month, which is caring, meaning being compassionate and showing others that you do care. And now for the approval of minutes, I need a motion to approve city council meeting minutes and executive session minutes of July 18th, 2022. Eric, so moved. Schaefer, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Motion carries. Now, claims, payroll, and disbursements. I need a motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $1,624,299.74 and payroll in the amount of $927,753.20. Whitaker, so moved. Carry for second. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Eris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we need a motion to approve the city attorney's report dated July 29, 2022. Steele, so moved. Eris, second. second. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Motion carries. Okay. A uh, motion from streets and grades. We will now have oral reports from standing committees, special committees, and any other oral reports from the elected officials or staff. And I believe that Mr. Diddleman will be reading these. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. Uh, on behalf of the streets and grades, I'd like to, can I read all these together? Yeah. Yes, like please do. Okay, yes. <laughs> please, huh? <laughs> I'd like to make a motion for from the streets and grades, uh, starting at 11-A1, motion to approve Beelman Logistics, LLC, as lowest responsible bidder for motor fuel tax 2023 materials, CA-6, CA-7, riprap and sand, in the amount of $52,885. Uh, and that'd be paid by motor fuel tax and tip funds. 11-A2, uh, motion to approve Chris Brothers Products, LLC, as lowest responsible bidder for our motor fuel tax 2023 materials cold patch in the amount of $228,000, and that will be come from the motor fuel tax and the TIF funds. 11-A3, uh, motion to approve Energy Culvert Company, LLC, as the lowest responsible responsible bidder for motor fuel tax 2023 materials culverts is the material in the amount of forty seven thousand one hundred twenty nine dollars and thirty seven cents and again it's the MFT TIF uh, 11 dash a four motion to approve concrete supply of Illinois as the lowest responsible bidder for the motor fuel tax 2023 materials concrete in the amount of $17,250, motor fuel tax and TIF funds. 11-A5, motion to approve Forney Contracting Company in the amount of $81,443.25 for 2023 ditching program, motor fuel tax and TIF funds. 11-A6, motion to approve Killian Corporation, lowest responsible bidder in the amount of $472,000 $159.40 for resurfacing pavement markings and ADA accessible ramp construction from 350 feet northwest of Belleville West Parkway to Bellinger Place, approximately 4,300 feet of Belleville Crossing Street, RBI funds. 11-A7, motion to approve an agreement with Gonzalez Companies, LLC, in the amount of $15,870 <coughs> for construction inspection of Belleville Crossing RBI funds. 11-A8, motion to approve an agreement with Gonzalez Companies for resolution and construction administration of Belleville Crossing in the amount of $20,000 RBI funds. 11-A9, motion to approve an agreement with TWM in the amount of $13,000 $700 for Reunion Boulevard, Engineering of Storm Sewers and Pavement Improvements, TIF 10 funds. 11A10, motion to remove parking along the east side of the first block of South First Street, removing meters and installing no parking signage. 11A11, motion to approve an agreement with the Oats Associates in the amount of $19,900 to perform field checks, prepare plans, specification and estimates to refresh pavement, pavement markers, markings at various locations, motor fuel tax and TIF funds again. 11-A, 12, motion to approve an agreement with precision concrete cutting in the amount of $8,297 to eliminate trip hazards along or near Main Street from West A Street to North Charles Street, motor fuel tax funds. 11-A, 13, Motion to approve an agreement with Gonzalez Companies in the amount of $10,000 to provide on-call engineering services for various projects. Uh, general TIF funds. And a few more. Motion to approve 11A-14. Motion to approve an agreement with Lockmiller Group in the amount of $20,000 to provide various professional engineering surveying, planning, and or environmental services 
on an as-need basis. That's the general fund and TIF funds. 11 a 15 motion to enter into a proposal with Oates Associates in the amount of $67,700 to prepare plans, specifications, and estimate for South 16th Street from South Belt West to Premier Appliance for sidewalks, concrete curbs, and mill and overlay on the asphalt pavement, street widened by converting the barrier curb to a combination curb and gutter, TIF 3 funds. 11A-16, motion to enter a proposal with Oates Associates in the amount of $71,500 to prepare plans, specifications, and estimates for Rob Avenue from South 19th Street to 150 feet east of South 16th Street for sidewalks, concrete curbs, and mill and overlay on the asphalt pavement, uh, TIF 3 funds. 11-A-17, motion to approve a temporary construction easement of 200 square foot of land for four years and sell to and sell 288 square foot of land, parcel number 08-21-223-005 to IDOT for ADA improvements along Illinois 159 in the amount of $600 paid to the city. Any second? Thank you. Discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Now we have a motion from administration to purchase 820 North 89th Street, parcel 02-26. period, <laughs> 0 dash 417 dash 016 or excuse me <laughs> okay from St. Clair County trustee in the amount of $795 for demolition Anthony second thank you discussion roll call Duco Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. And now a motion from the Planning Commission. Mr. Dittleman? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you, uh, you need some water? <laughs> uh, 11 C. Uh, we got a motion from the Planning Commission on take five car wash development site plan approval for the construction of approximately 4,020 square foot take five car wash with 19 associated vacuum stalls and five on-site parking spaces on an approximate 60,424 square foot lot with a, within a C2 heavy commercial district, 5600 Belleville Crossing, parcel 08-19 dash 102 dash 009 ward 8 the planning commission re recommended approval with all members present voting five to one okay i need a second steel any discussion are you making a motion to approve when you read that or were yes. you just reading it yes okay. just want to make yes sure. i okay. yeah yes mr diddleman yes i'd like to have mr cross come up he said he'd come up and just going to check on some few things. And yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. Um, so if you recall the last city council meeting, this came up on the agenda. There was some discussion about its proximity to another similar car wash within the same development. I think the key question or the key task that I was asked to do was to reach out to all parties involved with each of the car washes to ensure and verify that they were both aware of the fact that there are two similar uses within such close proximity of one another. And I have reached out to all parties involved and they have all indicated, yes, they are aware of it, including the developer of the, of the site, DESCO. Um, based on that, I, you know, I haven't seen their numbers, but my assumption is they've done their homework and they're comfortable with their market analysis that they both can be supported. You know, like I said, I, I think I touched on it last time. It, it's amazing how popular car washes have become. And the big risk, I, and it was said, and I, I, I don't disagree with it, is if one of them go out, 
they're designed for one specific use. It's a very difficult adaptive reuse. But the way the current code is written, it doesn't require a distance separation between car washers. So uh, it, they both are permitted uses. They've both gone through the site plan approval process. And um, this is the second one of the two that has come before you. What I can say is the other car wash that came before you for the site plan approval still has not submitted their official construction plans. And the reason I'm mentioning that is sometimes they send out headhunters, in a sense, to find sites and get preliminary approval. And sometimes it doesn't come to fruition. And I'm just touching on that because it's been a couple months and we still have not seen that I haven't seen the official construction plans for the other car wash as of today's date. So um, just, uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that, that you have, but uh, that's where we stand with this project at this time. Okay. Any more discussion? Okay. Uh, do I hear a, a motion in a second? Alderman Dittleman made the motion. Yes. Mary Steele, second. Okay. Any more discussion? Roll call. Eris? No. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? No. Dittleman? No. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? No. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? No. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Stuco? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor, with a vote of eight to five. Okay, thank you. I, I vote aye. Okay. So nine to five. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, motion from Zoning Board of Appeals, Jenny. Can I read them together? Separate? D2 separate. D2 separate? Okay. 11 D1, 34 June 22, Tanya Clark requests for a special use permit for a liquor license at 5300 North Belt West, 08180208008, located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable sections of the zoning code 162.248 and 162.515 Ward 8. Zoning Board of Appeals unanimously recommended approval in the name of the applicant only with all present members voting 6 to 0. 11 D3, 38 June 22, Aisha Underwood. Request for a special use permit for a liquor license at 4715 West Main Street, 08070412009. Located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable sections of the zoning code 162.248 and 162.515 Ward 4. Zoning Board of Appeals unanimously recommended approval in the name of the applicant only with all present members 6 to 0. 11D4, 39 June 22, Aisha Underwood. Request for a special use permit for a liquor license at 103 North 47th Street. 08070413006, located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable sections of the zoning code 162.248, 162.515, Ward 4, Zoning Board of Appeals unanimously recommended approval in the name of the applicant only with all present members voting 6 to 0. Okay. I'd like to make a motion, Mayor. Yes. Um, this is Ward 4. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that uh, we comply with the uh, the ruling from the zoning board to uh, to approve these licenses. Okay. And I second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. <coughs> uh, you can just do it all in favor. Oh, yeah. All in favor. Uh, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Oh, propose. Sorry. Motion carries. Okay. No. Communication. Oh, no, I got to go back and read 11 D2. Oh, that's right. Okay, 11 D2, 35 June 22, Shalom Moulton. Request for a special use permit for a liquor license at 15 North 47th Street, 08070412006. Located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable section of the zoning code 162.248, 162.515, Ward 4. Zoning Board of Appeals unanimously recommended approval in the name of the applicant only with all present members voting six to zero. Okay. Do we have a motion? 
Uh, motion to uh, motion to comply. <clears throat> motion to comply with the uh, zoning board with the zoning board. Okay. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Yes. Mayor, is it possible for Director Cross to speak to this one? I've heard some concerns about maybe the the type of environment that's going to be going in there. Uh, somebody spoke that they were concerned it was going to be more like an office space that served alcohol and and just had some concerns. I'd like to hear if you know kind of what the plan is for it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the specifics of it. If, if I recall, I think she's got a retail boutique on one side and, and then the liquor license on the other is, is my understanding. But they are separated in two distinct individual units is my understanding. So this would only be applicable to that specific side in which it is attached to. Should they could not bring it over into the retail portion, otherwise they would be violating not only this approval, but the liquor license that would be issued by the uh, Liquor Commission and Office of Mayor. So is it like a bar they're trying to open next door to their boutique, or? My understanding is more of like a, like a little assembly, banquet, like event uh, center, is my understanding, and, and it's not surprising, those are popping up, um, and those are one of the things that we're looking at addressing because these event centers now are trying to get liquor licenses to have their own host establishment. Um, if I remember, and we've had so many of these come across, so uh, if I remember, she originally, um, she <coughs> wanted a liquor license to have gaming, if I recall correctly. And it, the bar was not going to be allowed to be established to, to get that gaming because the bar was needed a special use permit and it just didn't meet the requirements of the And it market. didn't have food, and correct? It didn't have food. And sometimes what they try to do, they try to get two different, there's two different liquor licenses and I think the mayor and, and Jared can probably answer better to this, but you have your class A and B and C licenses and one of them is for a bar only, so your primary operations is the sale of liquor. The other one is a food establishment that has accessory liquor sales, where they have to report that more than 50 some percent of their sales come from food to, to be that to get that second classification. And gaming is not allowed within a restaurant. If I well, I don't know, Garrett, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, they, gaming not is only permitted rest. if uh, more than 50 percent of your revenue is derived from. So restaurants and bars can have gaming, but uh, they have to uh, derive more revenue from alcohol and, and food sales than they do the gaming. But this was for the use to get the liquor license um, for the, um, the get the special use for it to, to be able to get the liquor license as well. Yeah, this is and it's more of an event facility, in my understanding. This is the zoning aspect. You I think it's an event. Code requires a uh, special use permit for all liquor licensed establishments. But of course, the liquor license itself is a determination of issuance by the mayor as the local liquor commission. So I know. Oh, I'm sorry, Johnny. Oh, uh, are we to? Um, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit confused by this whole thing. Is this an event center? Uh, uh, when she came up to talk, when she spoke with our deputy liquor uh, she mentioned that she would prefer it to kind of be like a get-together place for her friends her girlfriends things like this after the boutique was closed mm -hmm. so I, I'm not for sure exactly you know maybe this is something that we consider tabling till we have yeah. more information you know and, and, and kind of you know you have you have basically <coughs> several options here tonight. You can approve the request that's presented, you can approve the request with the amendments that you prefer or attach additional conditions. You can table the request. You can kick it back to BZA. And BZA is where you have the public hearing process and you have more of the hearing concept and she would appear under oath. And if you feel that we need to get more information out of her, I would recommend kicking it back to the BZA for, for further consideration of the request. For her to lock down, and we could ask that we get a, 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 a 
more detailed business plan and model that would be incorporated into that special yeah. use plan. I think we should do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. So you're going to amend your amend. motion to table? Let me, um, yeah. let me, uh, let's, I'll amend my motion mm -hmm. to approve um, and, and, and send back to the And let's yeah. send it back to uh, yeah. the That's zoning. Back to the zoning yeah. And Oliver Woman Steele, are you? Yes, yeah. I'm second that. Second. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have a, move, a motion to Refer back, Refer to, zoning back to the zoning board. Okay, any discussion? You can do roll call if you want. Roll call? I'm glad you caught that. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, now we have from communications, Jenny? This first one sounds like fun. <laughs> Can I read them together? Yes. Okay. 12A, Driving and Crying Concert, 810-2022. Request from Lincoln Theater to host Driving and Crying Tuesday, August 10th, 2022. 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., no street closure. Use of 10 parking spots at City Parking Lot located at corner of East A Street and North High Street. Additional city services, barricades, and no parking signage. 12B, Bubble Indie Market, 813-2022. Rescheduled. Request from Sweet Honey LLC and 7 Belleville to host Belleville Indie Market Saturday, August 13th, 2022, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Street closure request South High Street between East Main and East Washington, 3 to 11. Rescheduled from 7-23-2022. 12 C, Kurt Miller Memorial Concert, 8-18-2022. Request from Miller Furniture to host Kurt Miller Memorial Concert Thursday, August 18th, 2022, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Street closure North Church Street from East Main to Alley Entrances, 5 p.m. to 9-15 and use of Paderborn Square, additional city services, barricades, no parking, signage, picnic tables, and trash toters. 12D, Knip Roofing, Ribbon Cutting Ceremony, 9-20-2022. Request from Knip Roofing to host the Ribbon Cutting Ceremony Tuesday, September 20th, 2022, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Street closure, South 10th Street, alley to alley. 3.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Additional city services, barricades, picnic tables, use of parking lot and grass area at 10th and West Main Street. 12E, Oktoberfest, 9-16-2022 and 9-17-2022. Request from Bubble Oktoberfest for a street closure change of East Main Street, East Side of High Street to West Side of Church Street. And that also should include the first block at North and, North and South Jackson Street for Thursday, September 15, 2022, 5 p.m. until Sunday, September 18, 2022, 3 a.m. 12 F Dylan Wolf Band, 10 15, 2022, rescheduled. Request from Copper Fire to host Dylan Wolf Band, Saturday, October 15, 2022, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Street closure request. South Jackson from East Main to parking lot entrances, 6 a.m. to 12 a.m., 10 16, 2022. Rescheduled from 10 1 2022. 12G, Belva Santa Parade, 11 25, 2022. Optimus Club of Belva requests to host the Santa Parade Friday, November 25th, 2022, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Street closure request staging areas, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. North 3rd from West C to West A, West B Street between North 2nd and North 3rd. 10 a.m. rolling closure along parade route, additional city services. Barricades, no parking signage, police personnel, public works personnel, and cleanup of parade routes. Schaefer, so moved. Harris, second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we have no pet petitions tonight. Uh, Jenny, would you like to read by title only resolution? Oh, I need a motion. Oh, I need a motion to read by title only resolution 3452 and 3453. Schaefer, so moved. Steele, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. And I can read them together, yes? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. 14A, resolution 3452, 2022, a resolution for improvement under the Illinois Highway Code, Belleville Crossing. A 14B, resolution 3453, 2022, a resolution requesting permission from IDOT to close Route 159 for Santa Parade, Friday, November 25th, 2022. Harrison, Schaefer, second. Thank you, any discussion? Roll call. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. 
Okay, under ordinances, a motion to be read by title only, ordinances 9074, 9075, 9076, 9077. Um, so and 9075 will be taken out. Right. Oh, okay, got it. Eric, so moved. Schaefer, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And I can read them together. Yes. 15A, Ordinance 9074, 2022, a zoning ordinance in regards to case 34, June 22, Tanya Clark. 15C, Ordinance 9076, 2022, a zoning ordinance in regards to case 38, June 22, Aisha Underwood. 15D, Ordinance 9077, 2022, a zoning ordinance in regards to case 39, June 22, Aisha Underwood. Harris, so moved. Schaefer, second. Okay. Uh, do we have uh, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Gentlemen? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. We have no unfinished business this evening. Under miscellaneous in new business, I need a motion to approve the motor fuel claims in the amount of $18,058.15. Schaefer, second. Any discussion? No. Okay. Okay, so now, yes. Oh, roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rathweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. And now we need a motion to go into executive session. Just to read to discuss oh, yeah. this one sentence. To discuss negotiation <coughs> collective and negotiation matters. Okay. Here is so moved. Schaefer, second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. We will now go into executive session. Thank you. We need a motion to approve the memorandum MOW, uh, MOU uh, with the Fraternal Order of Base Lodge number 2026. Jenny, why don't you read the other one? Okay, and also a motion to approve the memorandum of understanding with the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 2026 concerning settlement of health insurance, grievances, and arbitration. Harris, so moved. Second. second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Harris? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motions carry, Mayor. Okay, thank you so much. I need a motion to adjourn. Schaefer, so moved. Harris, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. The ayes have it. Thank you so much. I did too.